Hey everyone, welcome to Boost Tutor. I'm Brandon, and I want to talk about something today, Magic Gathering playtest cards. So basically, what's a playtest card? So before a set comes out, uh, Magic, the R&D, whoever, future league, they'll have little blank cards, and they'll write like the name, cover mana cost, and the ability of what a card does. And then they'll play with those for a set. So let's say they have like a mechanic or something, They'll make a car around the mechanic. They'll test it out, see if it's going to work, you know, whatever. And then the next step is they'll print out the card on like a like a sticker, a little piece of paper. You've probably seen it before. It's like very boxy, um, kind of official looking, has like all the information on it. And then they'll put that on an existing magic card, usually what the color of that card is already. So if it's a blue card, they put it on an old blue card. And then they'll play test more with those. And I, I've heard like that after they print them, they would even like, they're ratted so fast, like you just mark it off and stuff. You can't keep printing them over. It just doesn't make sense. But anyway, and then if it makes past that stage, usually it goes on to become an official card. So you've probably seen like some old alpha cards. They do that a lot on the site. The Richard Garfield, before he made Magic, had playtest cards. They were like little tiny, just pieces of paper almost with like clip art on them of like random things from like D&D &D and stuff. They had the old name. So you'll find like famous cards now that, you know, were from back then and they'll have mana costs that are like way off and stuff just because like the grizzly bear i think costs three and a green when they play tests and as i said ones now look way different but i was looking on an auction site and i found something i think is a playtest card it looks like it's a playtest card from fallen empire so not that exciting but it was actually four cards and it looked like a playtest card with art which usually they don't have the art, like unless they're the alpha ones. Uh, maybe they got the artist to like do a little sketch or something. And then it also looked like there might be just a blank card with a signature. And then maybe an artist proof or maybe just a card sign. I'm not quite sure. So got them right here. We're going to open it up. Find out if they are playtest cards, which would be very cool. And hey, see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Let's find out what's in here. Mm -hmm. uh. Man, seriously? There we go. <laughs> Gotta know how to open these by now. I think this is just my invoice. Yep, let's not show that on camera. There we go. So here is the order of Laetber. Sure. Okay, so there's the actual card. Okay, so it's an artist proof. Cool. cool. Yep, this is a playtest card. That is freaking awesome. It's uh feels like just regular stock paper almost. Or not stock paper, but like I don't know, but it's a heavier cardboard. Lobster Man, two in a blue, summon lobster, fallen, fallen empire. Uh, Brian, what's this? Wackwitz, I'm guessing, or yeah, I'm guessing he's the artist. Place a tide counter on Lobster Man when he is summoned. During your upkeep, place a tide counter on the Lobster Man. If there are four tide counters on the Lobster Man, remove them all. If there is one tide counter on Lobster Man, it gets minus one, minus one. If there are three tide counters on the Lobster Man, it gets plus one, plus one. That is a horribly complicated card. I don't think this was ever a card actually in Fall Empire, so that's cool. It's a card that never made it. Um, here's the actual order. And this is Order of Lurdy. Oh, so they changed the name. White, white. Uh, summon Cleric from Fallen Empires. Protection from black. Protection from black. One white is first strike. One white is first strike. And then two white is regenerates. And two white here is plus one plus oh until end of turn. So they made some changes before it actually went to the printers. That's cool. Uh, two one, yeah, still two one. I think regenerates with first strike. That's a pretty good card, actually. Uh, the plus one plus oh, yeah, that's pretty good too, actually. Um, it's not bad. And then here is the artist proof of the actual card. So. Or no, sorry, that's the actual card. That's the artist proof. 
So, oh, I see. So in the pictures, I saw just the actual card that was signed, and then the other side, the RS proof. Wow. Okay. So very cool. Uh, anything on the back of these? No. Um, yeah, I love that someone actually went out and got him to do the artwork. This Lobster Man must be an actual card, actually. I don't know which one it is, because why else would you get him to do art for it? Yeah. Okay, so very cool. I've never had a playtest card before, so that's a nice little thing to add to my collection. Okay, there we go. So, like I said, very awesome. I love little stupid things like this, like playtest cards. When are you ever going to use them? You're not, but they're just, you know, a history of magic. Pretty cool. I uh, like those little offshoot things that are just cool to me. Anyway, uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, booster underscore tutor, and see you next draft.